and welcome to Parasitoids of the Roundtable. With me now is Dr. Cien Fuecos. Doctor, would you care to tell us a little bit about aphids and possible ways to get rid of them? Hello, thank you for having me here. So aphids are insects that drain nutrients from plants, leaving behind a substance known as honeydew, which is used by ants. The ants use this honeydew and in turn they protect and breed the aphids, thereby bringing the phrase, aphids are the cow of ants. Sorry, I know I'm rambling. Normally small amounts of aphids on plants would do no harm, but large numbers can spread diseases to plants causing death. What was the second question again? Oh, uh, I just asked about possible ways of getting rid of these aphids because they seem like to be a pain. There are many ways to get rid of them, namely either pesticides or insecticides, traditional methods or biological control. Wait, I'm no expert here, but I thought pesticides were bad. Uh, I heard they're really bad for other organisms, especially. Uh, I don't know if you heard about this, but there was a report a while back that revealed that over 67 million birds have died from like indirectly ingesting pesticides. They also have a very harsh effect on the already dwindling bee population, and I don't need to tell you why that's bad for business. Well, that is true. So going around that, pesticides are bad, and these aphids can actually develop an immunity to these pesticides or insecticides. So this can make it increasingly difficult for farmers to control the pet population. Hmm, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, what are the traditional methods you mentioned? Some gardeners suggest using a water hose to shoot off the aphids from plants. Some scents also mm -hmm. help deter the pests like dill, cilantro, marigolds, peppermint, and catnip, to name a few. Hmm. You know, I don't know if this is the same sort of method, but my grandfather used to have a little garden in his backyard. And aphids were always on his crops, always ruining his lettuce. So then my grandfather decided to start planting these weeds with brightly colored flowers on them. And they seemed to really attract the aphids. So they were less on his crops and more on the plants. Ah, uh, yes, that's actually a technique that small scale farmers used to steer aphids away from their crops. Huh. What do you know? That's pretty cool. Uh, now about these biological control. What exactly is that? So biological control is a process by which you get rid of a pest by using its natural enemy or some sort of invasive species. In the aphids case, you can use ladybugs, but after a while, it isn't as effective. Now, parasitoids, on the other hand, as their name suggests, are parasites which can help combat a pest population more efficiently. Wait, what are these parasitoids called? The parasitoid I'm talking about is the alpha linus boss. Hmm. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Cienfuegos, for joining me today and for informing both me and my viewers about aphids and different methods of controlling their population. Well, thank you so much for having me. Well, have a great day. Hi, welcome back. Now, after that wonderful introduction that Dr. Cienfuegos just gave us, we have a very special segment planned with our field agent, Pharrell, that is in Nebraska currently. Now, the main purpose of this segment is to illustrate a prime example of what happens when you do not have biological control and are subject to just using pesticides and other methods of controlling aphids. So Pharrell, would you please paint us a picture on the situation that you got down there in Nebraska? One. Coming to you live at the Cozy Calico Farm in Nebraska, actually the North Entrance of Central Park. <laughs> Here on this bright early morning before school, I am here with Pharrell James. Fine. So how are you dealing with such a devastating problem? So you know, I've been dealing with this ravenous 
colony of aphids for quite a while now, and they're making more baby aphids than I can produce a deal this season. You know, that's a big problem for me right now. You know, Pharrell, I did what any other person would do for a media solution. I use pesticides, although those pesticides cause a new problem. I get no new sales on my wheat or any other crops because no one to eat you know, crops with pesticides on it. So now I'm hoping those science experts could help us out. Okay, so there you have it. Mr. James is one of many farmers in the Midwest that are dealing with the same issue. Hopefully they can start to sell those crops again. Back to you, Priscilla.